I think now is a good moment to properly say goodbye to all of you and um, say thank you. Um, I'm really uh, moved by the fact that you all care so much. The Route du Rhum is one of the most popular sporting events in France. It brings over 100,000 visitors each day. For a sailor, it's an incredible experience. The adventure of a lifetime. One man pushing the limits to cross the Atlantic Ocean as fast as possible. But none of this would ever come true without the devoted men and women that worked day and night on the boat. This is their story. Cheers! Louis, what is happening right now? Uh, we do the Train safety Train inspection 090. with the what? French uh, um, Sailing uh, Federation to make sure that all the bag complies with uh, the safety equipment that is mandatory to have on board. So we have a grab bag. Sometimes in case of problem, if the boat sink or whatever, you just grab the bag. Just started and uh, uh, yeah, final final check. Uh, Uh, but the start of each race, any, any major race, we go through all the safety equipment really carefully, check all the expiry dates, the um, codes for all the emergency gear, so that uh, if there is an emergency, and, uh, a beacon is activated, or we, we know who it is and what it is. And, and to make sure everything is there, in case we miss something, they've double checked. Rosie! How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Good to see you. How are you? Good. Welcome to Saint Malo. Thank you. Bonjour, I'm Rosalie. Michael, enchanté. So basically, Rosie, we're checking if you did your job well. Yes, exactly. Until so far, so good. For now, everything yeah. is good? It's left For the moment, yeah. Hey, come on, I'm Antoine, the onboard reporter, and we're gonna check some days before the race starts if everything is going well. Come on. So, Jesse, what's the challenge of your day? The challenge of my day. Oh, so many challenges, Antoine. Yeah? Uh, to make sure the engine and the charging is working properly. Like, really properly. We're still uh, having problems with the engine. And your challenge for the last day? Many challenges. Every day's challenge, just help the guys to do their best so we can be on time to be ready. I think um, there is a bit of stress with the engine. With the race start approaching, the energy around the race village took a turn and became quite electric. How are you feeling today? Stressed. How are you feeling today? You're not even confident to huh? sail overnight. And how no, 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 but, no, no, but just for... No, honestly, fuck off. I even got sent on an interesting mission myself. I'm on a ferry on my way to the UK. 7.30 p.m. I need to go on a ferry, bring a package to someone on the other side of the ocean. Basically, we have a part on the boat that needs to be replaced. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Just past customs. Let's find our guy. Here you go. I met Guy, thank you very much. And now back on the ferry. Mission accomplished. In the meantime, Boris took his longtime friend and co-founder of Team Militia, Pierre Kaziragi, on an afternoon sailing on the boat for the first time.
I know it's like the last push and it's super intense, but we're nearly there, so that's good, at least to be on the start line. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for the work over the last month. Like now we're in race mode, so people should be acting like that. Communication is a key factor to success. And after our team meeting, we could all feel a switch in the overall mood and a real sense of family to place. Yo! <clears throat> So nice seeing everyone. Huh? I feel like we should play a game. <laughs> like British Bulldog, everyone runs at each other. <laughs> how much do you shit when you go 14 days at sea? And how much paper do you use when you go 14 days at sea? I give him four rolls. Wait, That's it. Right. I hope it's enough, and if not, sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. Really, every one of you, I'm... Um, I feel very supported and uh, actually very relaxed, uh, much more than four years ago, yeah. where we were coming from a very small background. If we manage to go to the finish, we have actually, if we just finish the race, if we arrive in Guadeloupe, we have achieved as a team, and mainly you have achieved something that has never been achieved before, conceiving, designing, building and commissioning about from scratch after the one day until, until the Route du Rhum. We are the only ones in this fleet. And uh, the last one in history who has done it was Michel de Joyot, 2010 maybe, Marine, you were working with him then? No. No? Not then? Okay. And um, since then you can also not compare these boats, right? It was much simpler with four bulkheads at the time and not 25. Um, and. Uh, so I'm, I'm really proud already that we are at the start. I remember with Louis and Holly early days, we were really not sure, should we try to do this? Is it not a bit too, too short, too tight? But actually I feel we, we had a, this rush moments, the launch week, the two weeks before the launch where everyone like worked long days and now this week. But I think that will benefit us to the ocean race. Uh, we will just try to make sure to get there. But if we don't, then don't be disappointed. There's a possibility the boat is quite young still and then we uh, make a new plan. And it's not a, not a big issue. Cool, thank you everyone and I hope you, you can relax now a bit, decompress a little bit. Thank you so much and cheers everyone. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What do you think helped to accomplish all this? Friendship, uh, team spirit first. And, uh, yes. Stuart, that was an amazing push. You finished so much things. I, right? How do you feel about it? Do you feel proud? Relieved? Yes, all of the above. Um, it's an exuberant feeling. Uh, race ready, ready to go. Now we need a and well on board. Final checks. What a loop, eh? Here we come. Cheers! Guys, cheers to you! Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, no? Everyone, that way, please, so we can. 
we just come from the skipper briefing, the final briefing before the race start, and they started the uh, the briefing with serious voices and saying we have taken a decision to delay the start for this and that reason. La direction de course et les organisateurs ont décidé de reporter le départ après avoir pris connaissance des dernières informations météo prévues pour les premiers jours de course. And uh, everyone in the uh, all of the 138 skippers and lots of other people were clapping. Um, and there was a general consensus it seems at least that this was a good idea. And um, maybe we'll, uh, we'll explain the weather a bit. What, what, what do you think? I can explain a bit why they delayed it. So there's been a huge front which is uh, approaching the fleet, which is going to be on Monday afternoon. And you can see here on the, on the wind models, you can see this front approaching on uh, Sunday night. So this would be 12 hours after the start, when the fleet is starting here in St. Malo. And then by the time you get to Monday afternoon, you can see this really strong wind here uh, approaches the fleet and you've got in excess of 50 knots, which um, is very strong and probably not super safe, but at the same time, if you look at the waves, you've got six meter waves, which makes your life very difficult and, um, and quite unsafe. So although we were feeling nice and ready to, to take the start, um, obviously the, the race direction have to think about the overall safety of the fleet and what's realistic and, and this is the choice they've had to make. So now it looks like we'll be starting on Tuesday evening or, or Wednesday morning. So we keep the preparations up and we do some, some weather checks. It gives us more time to look at the weather and to go through the boat. So we're going to make the most of the next few days. Yeah, good decision, I think. Excited to see Boris start tomorrow. I think he's ready. We've had a good time to look at the weather and, and check what the next few days is going to be like. And we just want to take the start now, I think. I think he feels super ready to go. And, um, yeah, we'll be out there, we'll be ready and waiting, and then uh, the big day tomorrow. to the start, you see here, 13, 12, the last hour, and then uh, it's pretty fresh, good breeze, like 20 knots, we start with the J3 and one reef, we could also start with the J2, but with the J3 it's more easy to maneuver, and the main thing is to not take any risk at the start, to not hit any other boat, plenty. Yeah, looking forward to the race. The team did a great job to prepare anything. I feel confident. Any thoughts, Will? No, excited to see you go, huh? It's good to see the, ra the boat getting here and uh, it's been a lot of work the last few months, so cool to see it go and looks like some interesting conditions. And I'm sure we'll have a fun time. <laughs> see you on good luck. Good luck, boys! Thanks. Yeah. One, two, three, four.